We're going to talk health and wellness this morning with Dr. Ross Williams. Now, the last time he was on, we talked about healthy weight loss and how sugar and carbs affect our metabolism. Today, we're going to focus on detoxification. Now, what does detox actually mean for our bodies, and what are the toxins that need removed? Dr. Williams has some answers. Dr. Ross, thank you again for being back on the show today. Hi, Jenna. Thanks for having me again. You're welcome. It's always a pleasure having you on the show. Let's start off by having you tell our viewers how exactly detoxification works. Okay. Well, let's first by start by saying that uh, the word detoxification gets used loosely by a lot of people. Mm -hmm. And when, when, when I'm talking about detoxification, I'm talking about natural processes that are already occurring in everybody's bodies. Um, it's not a cleanse like a master cleanse or an enema or any of those sorts of things. Uh, detoxification are pathways, they're biological pathways that occur within your liver and your intestines and your skin all throughout the body. And it's the way your body deals with substances that need to be broken down and eliminated, whether it be chemicals or drugs or alcohol, whatever it is, it has to be broken apart before the body can get it out of, out of the body. Mm -hmm. So I like that you just cleared up some of those misconceptions because you don't really <coughs> think of detox as being something that you can just take juices for. No. Mm -hmm. no. Okay. Now, how do we know if we need to detox our bodies? Well, it's very common when people have been eating too many refined carbohydrates, sugars, grains, and things. They get bloated. They get puffy. Their digestion's off. Um, they're having trouble losing weight, they just don't have any energy, that's a good sign that it might be time for a, for a detoxification, um, help detoxifying. And now I'm using the term not just in the biological sense, but in the, the therapeutic sense when you say let's do a detoxification, you mean let's use a combination of herbs and special nutrients to give the body what it needs so it can do those processes much more efficiently mm -hmm. and break down the things that get stored. Well, I'm glad this ties into healthy weight loss because the liver is your major fat burning organ. Mm -hmm. And when the liver gets congested from too much uh, fat buildup, from too many sugars and grains in the diet, mm -hmm. um, toxins start to become stored in those fats and they, they're fat soluble. It's mm -hmm. like water and oil. So part of a detoxification cleanse would be to take certain herbs and nutrients that convert those fat-soluble toxins into water-soluble so they can be excreted out through the urine and the feces, mm -hmm. and your body can get rid of them. And we know from the last time you were on not to eat those sugars and carbs because that just ruins our metabolism, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It throws your blood sugar all over the place, and mm -hmm. insulin keeps spiking, and that's trouble. Mm -hmm. Now, what are some of the consequences of detoxification? Are there any? consequences? You mean like side effects? Mm -hmm. Side effects. Very commonly people might get uh, headachey the first day or two. Um, they can get little skin rashes. If things happen that are a little bit too severe, severe, all you do is just slow down. You just mm -hmm. stop doing it for a while, maybe drink some water mm -hmm. for a day, and then you can go back to it. But it, it's very, very safe for the vast majority of people. Mm -hmm. But it's good to do it with a professional that knows what what they're doing so that you, if you do get into trouble, you'll have somebody there that can tell you what to do. Mm -hmm. Now, how often do you have to detox? Like once you do it once, are you done for a couple mm -hmm. of years or how regularly? Well, you don't have to detox at all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but if, you, if you're striving for optimal health, um, my wife Jody and I do it two to three times a year. Mm -hmm. And it's usually a three week process. And we're actually, today is our last day of the 21 day program that we just we're just coming off of today. Okay. Does it affect? Did it affect your mood? I should say these past couple of weeks that you've been on it. Not really. Mm -hmm. uh, I've done it enough now that I don't notice it much. I only mm -hmm. lost three pounds this time. Normally, I lose. I mean, when I first started doing it a little over three years ago, I think I lost 13 pounds the first time I did it. it mm -hmm. all, all came off the belly. Mm -hmm. You know, it was all that wrong fat that we don't want. Right. Um, and it, it gives, gives you energy, you sleep better, you know, your hormones work better. It's, it's a good thing to do. Yeah, I was just going to ask, what, it, what would you say are the major benefits of it? More energy, better sleep, um, better digestion, mm -hmm. less constipation mm -hmm. or diarrhea if you mm -hmm. tend to, towards those things. Mm -hmm. It uh, helps in just so many ways. It just helps your, your overall metabolism. Wonderful. Yeah. Now, do you have a health tip for our viewers before we have to close today, Dr. Williams? 
Yes, the health tip would be to eat more of those things that naturally feed your detoxification pathways. Um, that's, there's phase one and phase two. You use the herbs for phase one and you save that for the cleanses. But in phase two, you should feed that every day. And those are things like the cruciferous vegetables, mm -hmm. um, broccoli, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, kale, red beets, chard, and things like that that have, that they're cruciferous and they also are sulfur bearing uh, vegetables. Those, mm -hmm. those are very, very helpful in maintaining good detoxification throughout the year. Mm -hmm. So stay away from the sugar and carbs again. And go towards stay those. Stay away from the sugar and carbs <laughs> and eat your beets. Mm -hmm. All right, wonderful. <laughs> Thank you for sharing all this information. If you want more info on Dr. Roth, you can check out the website, which is on the bottom of the screen. I'll be right back mm -hmm. after these messages. Stay with me.